In this video, I'm going to explain to you the upgrades of version 7.3.5 from Ravia's previous version. Now, you may be aware that Royal Malaysian Customs have come up with a new guideline for accounting software. In particular, they have recommended some new tax codes to be implemented in accounting software. While these are recommendations, we do think it's a good advice to add them into the system. Some of the additions are, for example, TXCG and new tax codes recommended. Some of the old tax codes like TXN43 will now be TXES and TXE43 will now be IES. So there's both changes as well as addition. Addition again like RP and GP are add-on. This is on the purchase side and on the supply side, you will see some new tax codes like ZDA. These are added. So, and the rest is the same. So what's gonna, how it's gonna impact the accounting software and this is what we want to do today. To check your latest version, go to help, about, and you'll be able to see this is your current version number, the last three digit, which is 733 for me. And you can also go to your lower left hand corner and you'll be able to see the same thing, version 733 down there. Now, let's go to GSD, maintain text. In this table, we'll be able to see there is already preset 23, 34 tax codes and 23 of them is from Custom uh, Malaysia and uh, some of them is added by default uh, using SQL account to ease our GSP processing. Some of the tax codes that is going to be changed as mentioned earlier are like E43 and 43 which I'll explain to you later and some of them added. But right now, what I'd like to do is add a new tax code in there manually. For example, you already added previously a tax code called TXCG. You have done that before. Now, let's go to our purchase transaction as well as our sales transaction. As you can see here, in sales, I already have ES43, an old tax code, and TXNE43, TXN43, an old tax code, and of course, the manually added TXCG here, I'll manually add them inside. It's in June, transaction 2016. I'll close both of them and process the April to June GSD for 2016. Now, once I've done that, I will be able to generate a GSD 03 report form. But right now, our key interest is what will happen after it's upgrade. Let's lock on to the new version, version 7.3.5. Now, we are looking at version 7.3.5 here. When I lock on, system will automatically prompt me for an upgrade of database and it is compulsory to do so. Once you have upgraded, it's rather quick. The first thing we want to take a look at is GST, maintain text. Now, you will notice Right now, we have split into multiple categories because Malaysia have particularly a large size of GST tax code. So we want to split them clearly for our users. And you can see that some of the tax codes like previously, um, for example, E43 is now IES. System will automatically change it for you. And of course, uh, N43 is now ES. And we will also add new text code for you like TXCG automatically and also ZDA and of course change a text code from ES43 to IES and some of the other additions. Now before we continue, I'd like to show you that what happened to our invoice that we have previously keyed in ES43. Now system will automatically adjust it for you even for your previous transaction to IES and of course on purchase side we also made some changes as well so over here you can see previously it was ES43 N43 and the TXCG that we manually added before we upgrade system will automatically invalidate to uh, with a symbol and then automatically the system will add a new tax code TXCG as a replacement. If there is any changes of, of the tax codes and actually uh, tax information, 
You can click on more, show changes here and the system will highlight them in yellow. Continue to check our Facebook and website because we are still making enhancement on the GST in upcoming versions. The new GAF 2.0 is also added inside GST. Open GST return. Click on any GST submission you have done and on the arrow here, generate GAF file. System will automatically give you a preview and on the lower right hand corner, you can save as text to generate a new GAF 2.0.